Hi friends, how are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Oscar and this is Tours Excursion Vallarta. Thank you very much for your support. And this is a new video talking about um, if, if you, it's your first time here in Puerto Vallarta, if you plan your trip here in Puerto Vallarta, sometimes you don't know um, what are the best dates or the best season. Normally, a lot of people know the high season uh, it's starting from November to April, okay? And the low season is from um, April to October, okay? So, but I'm gonna give you some uh, information about dates that maybe you can take advantage because we have some events here, massive events. So, um, but before, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, activate all notifications, forget the latest news here in Puerto Vallarta or Nuevo Nayarit. Remember, follow me on my social networks, okay? And uh, uh, if you want to support me as a sponsor, please uh, become a, a sponsor here in the, with this membership or uh, scan this QR, QR code, okay? Uh, okay, talking about the dates, uh, remember, um, Puerto Vallarta, or Mexico, we have a lot of uh, important dates here for celebration, holidays. I'm gonna skip obviously the, the holidays for uh, New Year's Eve and Christmas because everybody knows that, okay? And, but I'm gonna tell you some dates that maybe you don't know that you can take advantage and enjoy the real Mexican culture here in Puerto Vallarta, okay? The first date, uh, it's the Independence Day here in Mexico. And no, it's not Cinco de Mayo. We don't celebrate Cinco de Mayo. It's a huge victory here, but it's not the most important uh, celebration for us. The most important celebration is the Independence Day. And I'm talking about, uh, no, it's part of our culture, but it's more of our history, okay? So Independence Day is the, the September 5th. So if you plan your vacation in the, in the low season, and remember it's rainy season too, the best date is in the in the in the week in the week of the September fifth. It's uh, normally we have the celebration at midnight and uh, September sixth. Uh, it's um, it's day off, okay? But here is very tourism in Puerto Vallarta, so we normally work, but not the office or the regular or, or, or you know, like um, institutional office just don't work. Uh, I'm talking about the government, the banks, and, uh, and, and some of these uh, kind of uh, institution, okay? But uh, it's, uh, it's, it's all open, you know, the, the restaurants, the hotels, uh, uh, the stores, all is open. But, um, it's a great celebration because we have a parade. Um, normally, right now we don't have parades because the COVID. And talking about the COVID here is, is growing again. It's not so hard, it's not so hard like in at the beginning, but it's growing. Just if you plan your vacation here in Puerto Vallarta, wear your mask in the crowded places. We have no restrictions, okay? So, uh, back with the dates, September 5th. So. Enjoy this week um, in Puerto Vallarta and you will see parades, you will see the celebration at midnight. We do something like uh, we call El Grito or, or, or the calling it's, uh, and we say Viva Mexico three times, Viva Mexico, Viva Mexico. And all the people are here in Puerto Vallarta on the Malecon or in the main squares in every city. And normally the mayor or the governor or the, 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 the president of Mexico do the same thing at the same time, okay? And normally, uh, our independence began with, um, um, in, in the church with, with the calling of this um, uh, very famous um, uh, character in our independence, Miguel Hidalgo, he was, um, uh, a father, I'm talking about the, the, the church, uh, a priest, so who calls to all the, the, the Mexicans. Well, in that time, we don't call us Mexicans, but it was um, a Spanish people that now here lives in Mexico and reclaim their independence. 
and start with a with a with a priest uh, doing that uh, like a revolution. And th this is the, the the first day, so it's very important for us. So the September fifth, uh, it's very very special date for us. And if you want to live the real Mexican culture, you must to stay in this date here in Mexico. Okay. Another date uh, very close to um, the um, our culture or, or September, it's uh, Day of the Dead. Day of the Dead, it's amazing. Uh, if you want culture of Mexico, this is like like the prime date for you uh, because this date opens like uh, the high season here in Puerto Vallarta and it's uh, November 1st and 2nd, okay? Uh, we have a lot of tradition around the, 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 the Day of the Dead. You have a video of the Day of the Dead in my channel. You can, you can check how is uh, this celebration here in Mexico or in Puerto Vallarta. And it's great day, but remember the prices is gonna go high and the, the rates for this holiday is the expensiest, okay? Remember, there is three rates for um, Airbnbs or hotels the um, uh, low season, the high season, and the holidays. The holidays are the expensiest uh, dates that you can stay here, but it's worth it, okay? And November day, there is no raining, and there is uh, the weather is better. Like right now, I'm sweating, I'm still sweating. It's, it's a lot of humidity uh, and news. No hurricane anymore here in Puerto Vallarta. It's very far away from our coast. So we expect more sunny days and more humidity, of course. Uh, remember, the hurricanes help for change or weather, and this is good, okay? Uh, we just to be precautions about the warning. Stay tuned in this channel for we'll give you more information about the, 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 the hurricane warnings. Uh, back with the dates. Day of the Dead, very, very important. You can't miss it, okay? You can't miss it these dates. Okay, back with the dates, uh, another festivity or, or another month that I recommend to visit Puerto Vallarta because you can check uh, several uh, locations for festivities. It's April, okay? April, it's like uh, you can find a lot of festivities here in Puerto Vallarta. One is the biggest, Semana Santa. Um, talking about uh, the, the historical, talking about um, religious, it's very important in Mexico, in all Mexico. But in Puerto Vallarta, everybody stay here. Um, Semana Santa is amazing. We have parades. Uh, a lot of people go to the church to like pay uh, tribute or, or, or say thanks to, to the Virgen Maria. Uh, and it's amazing. Uh, but you know, with the COVID, that kind of celebration was not allowed. This year, I think it's gonna be allowed, um, but we don't know, the COVID is still here in our world. So, but it's it's less uh, damage than before at the beginning, but it's a great festivity. Uh, my recommendation, if you don't want crowded Puerto Vallarta, maybe skip Semana Santa and go to the Easter or Pascua. Pascua it's like more relaxed, but still with a lot of people, okay? But let me, let me tell you, like uh, San Sebastián del Oeste uh, in this month has their anniversary. So it's so beautiful to go in San Sebastián del Oeste, especially when it's the, the anniversary of that town. That town is very old, like 500 years old. And San Sebastián del Oeste is very sport, important for Puerto Vallarta because without San Sebastián del Oeste, Puerto Vallarta maybe never exists. So culturally, it's a great idea to stay here in April and visit San Sebastián del Oeste. Another town, magical town, that you must visit in April is um, uh, Tequila. Yes, you, you maybe heard about the tequila and the beverage, alcoholic beverage, tequila. But Tequila, the town, has their anniversary too in April. So it's great option to go over there. It's only far, far away, like uh, almost five hours. I did uh, the last trip, like four hours, 20 minutes to get there, very early in the morning from Puerto Vallarta. Um, 
it's far away but it's worth it and you can like uh, I don't know stay or book like three nights uh, four nights over there and then come back to Puerto Vallarta or you can arrive to Guadalajara airport and it's very near from the Guadalajara it's gonna take you like three hours or two hours to get there and it's worth it <clears throat> then you can come back to Guadalajara and take the airplane to go to Puerto Vallarta if you wish that if you're not it's okay but uh, I think sometimes it's better to take the airplane uh, but anyway you will tra uh, travel like four or five hours because you have transportation from tequila to Guadalajara airport and kind of the same okay and remember you can hire me for those trip okay and uh, that's that the option maybe you don't know that options uh, this is like uh, I cannot use this information for you if you want to visit here Puerto Vallarta and to uh, take advantage of these celebrations here in Puerto Vallarta. Ah, before other dates, uh, before I forget, other other date it's in November 20. We have uh, the Revolution anniversary uh, of Mexico. Okay, uh, the revolution happens when the poor people fight against uh, the hacendados or the big bosses and reclaim uh, her payments, her, her land because the land is who is working for it so that's uh, happened with the revolution Emiliano Zapata and Francisco Villa actually my parents over my uh, my family kind of my family my great-grandfather fought in the revolution with um, El Caudillo uh, Pancho Villa he was one of his he, uh, one of the hitmen in that time near of Ciudad Guzman and if you read Juan Rulfo, El Llano en Llamas, uh, that's a Mexican writer, you can check the history of that area near from Guadalajara and my family is over there and I have well connection with the uh, Mexican Revolution so I'm not proud it is a hitman but well it's something <laughs> and well that's all for now my friends thank you very much uh write in the comments uh what you think about this celebration in puerto Vallarta. maybe you don't know or maybe you don't know tell me more in the comments uh what do you think about uh these tips and hints for uh stay here in puerto Vallarta. see you next time bye bye